let you know today we are working with one of my clients on trailer loading so her horse was in an accident where it slipped under the divider of a two horse trailer and was wedged there um, and she's someone that wanted to work with me and we were actually working on scheduling a date for me to go up there and work with her horse on the trailer when the fires here in California hit and um, I ended up on the side of the road at like nine o'clock at night um, doing a evacuation. So in that last time she was in the trailer, it was the moment her ass gets in, slam the door behind her. So it definitely was not anything that was going to be working on her confidence in the trailer. Um, so now they have their own trailer and the focus is obviously to work on healing those parts um, without the pressure of needing to get in and the agenda, working on um, a deeper level of letting her and her horse work through some of the stuff that could be residing there in the body, in the energetic field of trailering. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna see what comes up. She usually will get in and then runs out really hard and fast. So um, I know that happens for a lot of people. So hopefully something in this video can help you guys with stuff you're working on. I'll say just remember um, within this video that it doesn't just uh, go to trailer loading. It, it can be anything that sparks a big emotion for you, um, whether it's riding in general, the mounting block, you know, um, saddling, whatever it is. This same technique can be applied to any of that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. So yeah, just go ahead and load her like you normally would. So what happens if you ask her to stay in there? Okay, so How does that make you feel? So I um, stand there for a second and then don't think about her getting in and then just think about her being all the way in and how that feels. So you don't have to ask her. She can stand, but don't let her eat. Just let her, just keep her head in that general vicinity and the rope can be relaxed so long as she's not trying to eat. And then, yeah, you just keep her. That's all right. Yeah. So, yeah, Wait, just. I, did, I was just more trying to redirect her. But... Yeah, so just be there. And then you kind of check in with where, how you feel, right? Where you're standing. I 
trailer, which led me to think I needed a little support. <laughs> So what are the sensations that you experience in your body when you think about her standing in the trailer next to you? So like claustrophobic yeah. or like your body, is there a specific body part that feels the squeeze? Chest? Chest? Right. So is there something that your body would prefer to do? Out in the open? <laughs> <laughs> not, not be in the trailer. <laughs> oh, well, we feel good in here. Mm -hmm. but, right. Yeah, don't let her eat because what can happen is she'll kind of disassociate from the situation a little bit. Yeah. We want her being present, you know? Yeah. We want her to feel her stuff. So I want you to just envision the heart space that's feeling tight, just opening. Whatever it looks like, whether it's a flower, whether it's a, whatever it wants to be. And just keep focusing on yourself. Don't care what she does, as long as she doesn't eat and he'll move. That's his own fault. <laughs> just talking about him. So keep doing that. So just keep opening up your heart space or any place in your body that feels confined. If you want to stretch, you can. The only rule is that she doesn't get to, her head doesn't get to leave that opening, right? She doesn't get to eat. She doesn't get to look to the sides. She stays there. There's no pressure on the lead rope so long as she stays in that area. And, um, and then you're just going to focus on how you feel. I feel fine. I feel fine. No, I I feel fine. You guys aren't allowed to feel fine because I feel fine. But then I was like, that's not really how I want to feel when I feel fine. So you're right. A little confined. There you go. Confined, fine. It's like basically the same thing. Doesn't feel as good as fine. Good. So just keep focusing on your sensations in your body you don't care what she does except for those little boundaries that are set because if you can hold the space of what it feels like to just be relaxed and be good here then no matter what when she gets in you have to be able to hold that space because what it feels like happens is the moment she gets in you get tighter even though she's doing what you perceive as something that you want, yeah, yeah. there's something viscerally in your body that's like, don't get in. You shouldn't be getting in here. It's confining in here. Yeah. So the ability to hold that energy in your body um, is the most important thing. That's why her getting in is irrelevant at this point. So loosen your rope on her because you're not asking for her for anything except to keep her head kind of in that area. And catch her there before she gets too far out. Good. And then you just refocus on whatever space of your body feels tight. And then you can imagine it opening like a flower or like, I don't know, whatever your brain wants to go to. I always do a flower because it feels like I, I imagine those National Geographic, you know, the time lapse. <laughs> the time lapse of the opening and the closing. So whenever I feel a part of my body getting restricted, I like take a breath into that part of my body and then I imagine it opening with like no agenda. Because honestly, just you spending time here, letting her feel you focus on that is 
bigger than you getting her in and having her stand. Like it's more significant for her. Good, and keep re don't focus on, oh my God, she's getting in. Just focus on what's closing. No, I was focusing on how much better I feel this time. Perfect. And then keep focusing on your body, no matter what she does. Just keep scanning your body and then refocusing and then scanning your body, reopening. <laughs> She's all. <laughs> Good, refocus on your body. Every time she takes a step forward, just refocus on anything that's getting tight or feels restricted and open it. Breathe into it and then open it. And then make sure she stays focused inside. And then, yep, good. Good, same thing, refocus on your body. But what she does is besides any of this. Perfect, and refocus on your body again. Don't request anything of her, just let her do what she wants. Let her decide whether or not your energy feels safe enough to be close to, and let that closeness just happens to be in the trailer. Good, you can follow her out, good. Right there is perfect, and then stop there and don't let her go any farther. And then relax the pressure in your rope. And then refocus on your body again. And then if you do a scan of your body now, how does it feel sensation-wise? The upper part feels good. I feel teeny bit weak in the knees still. Okay. So it's stability, balance. So just breathe into your knees. And then imagine them opening. And then refocus on your body again. And then do another scan from the top of your head all the way down. And then now um, doing a scan, where do you feel anything? In I feel a little protective of my feet. But <laughs> that's because you have a gigantic horse in front of you. Huh? <laughs> I, mean, I think that's because you have a gigantic horse in a small space. Yeah. Well, so it's more like an awareness of where I am in relationship mm -hmm. to her. Mm -hmm. Don't let her eat. There you go. Safe. We're staying together, baby. She's like, well, can we have together time with yeah, snacks? Okay. <laughs> so that will be me when we work together. Good. The big thing that people do is they let their horse go left or right, and then they go, oh, I got to start over. And then they go that way. And the horse goes, this is the exit route. And then if you do it enough times, then they start getting stronger about it. Then the other thing is by letting them eat, as soon as they start eating, they kind of, their mind gets off of dealing with whatever was going on for them. And I know, so you guys had a trailer accident, right? Right. And then... Going down our hill, she fell. She was by herself in a straight load and she got wedged under the... Thing and then kept trying to get up, so then she bruised her back. Mm -hmm. And Lisa thought she, the person driving her thought she was just kicking around and it wasn't a safe place to stop, so she waited until she got to the bottom of the road and then discovered. And she wasn't badly hurt, but it wasn't what you'd want to have right. happen. Right.
Good, and then there's your boundary, good. And then take another breath and then rescan your body. Nice. <laughs> She's like, are you okay, mom? <laughs> Let me check in on you. Yeah. So I'd say just get to a place where you're solid and like, I feel open, even if it's for a moment. The other thing I would definitely not, yeah, I was gonna say definitely don't let their heads turn. No, no. Yeah, I I never let horses turn around in the trailer. Like that's the only time that I've gotten seriously injured was when that happened and I got pulled out. So like it's just a rule. They don't get to go left or right. They have to back out. No. And um. Yeah, we were doing very well. I'd like to keep it that way. So yeah, just be like have your timing fine tuned to. When she goes down to ask eat. Her to, ask her to back out if it feels like it's No, just keep her head straight. I think, you know, like the only time they do that is when they start to look. And I don't, I really, I just like stay, you know, it's all right. Just keep your head forward. You know what I mean? So as soon as she looks, I would correct. Yeah, I correct that. Like you're, you get the release when your head is forward, not when you turn. Because where their head goes, their body will inevitably attempt to follow. <laughs> Good, and then check in with your body. Doesn't matter what she does, as long as she doesn't come out and walk too far and eat. And each horse is different. With her, she, because she can be pretty comfortable at the edge, like that's where I, I find their threshold, right? And she's pretty comfortable there, you know? So I say that's that's the boundary that I said, okay, this is where you go to, to like get that relief of, you know, the tension that you're experiencing. And, um, and then that's the boundary that I set, like, if you go beyond that, then there's pressure. If not, you can have the release of pressure if you're in this little area. So it's, yeah, as long as their head is in the opening and they're not eating, then even if they sniff the ground, like I don't mind the ground of the trailer, like that's fine. It's the eating that I think actually, it like redirects well, they, there. So that, that, they're, then they're, what do you call that? Um, Disassociate. Mm -hmm, yeah. And do I want to try and tie her? Mm -mm. I would say you could do this, um, do this um, until the moment you step in the trailer and you can stay open completely through the entire process, like be really conscious of it um, because there's no sense in rushing it. Um, you know, she gets in and stands there and the next thing I do after that is like I move around and I shake the trailer you know, and I up the pressure, right? But not until she can just walk in as soon as you walk up to the trailer and just stands quietly. Then I gradually increase stuff to see. So you don't try closing. No, I wouldn't. That's the most, that's the one thing that will, right? Yeah. So no, at this point, no. I, I, the steps that I would take is having her walk, the, when she starts to walk straight in and you can stay open and she just walks in and relaxes. And then you can move around and jump around and smack the sides of the thing and it doesn't cause her threshold to go over the top and run back out. And then she just stands quietly through that. Then I um, will put them on a blocker tie and I back out slowly. And if at any point she wants to run back because it, you step in and you drive her forward from inside the trailer, you just do one step at a time, you know, drive her forward. If she doesn't come forward, you know, then you know I have to work there. And then when you get to the point where you can just walk out with a blocker tie with the door open, then I shut the divider. Because the divider, if you shut it too soon, it, people get rushed and they wanna shut it in quick and, and that energy alone is like, they don't, they're not into that, they don't dig that. <laughs> Good, so then just rescan your own body and open anything that might be closing.
And then when you feel like you can kind of stand really solidly in that space of relaxation and openness, then I would ask her to back out and then just be done. <laughs> and I shouldn't give her a treat now. I wouldn't do it in the trailer because she just needs to know the trailer's okay. Yeah, okay. Like the trailer's safe and it's not because there's good cookies girl. in it. Good girl. It's safe it. because it's, it's the energy within that trailer yeah, that you're putting in, in there. there. Or, nope, I'm gonna... Yeah, and back up until, yeah, and then just walk off wherever you want to walk off as long as it's you directing the direction of the walking offness walking offness and then you can give her a cookie if you want Maybe I'll do it right here by the trailer. yeah perfect less comfortable and it's like that micro feelings those are for me mm -hmm. harder to yeah people you know, don't pay attention to their like, I, I know when i'm losing my shit i know <laughs> when i'm you know really upset right but you know that little teeny place of when when as the warwick schiller you know when did that first rabbit cross my path right you know you're like oh yeah right yeah so the importance of listening to your body the introspective they're like how do i feel right now finding your threshold and theirs and and honoring both of them and then staying there until you open she will follow but it's about people being self-aware enough of um, how they actually feel and what their body's telling them because that's the stuff they're actually picking up on. You know, don't wait until, right. you know, she's right, running right, out. Right, right, don't, you know.